Are you ready? GoFest may be over, but the epic and important updates of the summer are just getting started. For example, did you know that the best legendary Pokemon in history is back in raids today? And the rarest, one of the rarest shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go is available to encounter for the next about week and a half? Right now is a big time in Pokemon Go. Let's talk. Mewtwo is here from June 16th all the way until Friday, July 1st, but it's not something you wanna slack on and here's why. Currently in Pokemon Go, Mewtwo is the number three and number six best psychic type attacker in the game. Not to mention Mewtwo has some of the highest DPS or damage output essentially out of any Pokemon in Pokemon Go, specifically Shadow Mewtwo. It's one of the strongest, biggest hitters in Pokemon Go now. And not to mention it has some of the highest CP <laughs> in Pokemon Go with a max CP of over 4,700 today, now, not mega making it pretty much one of the strongest and best Pokemon currently in Pokemon Go. And it's not just a great psychic type, it could also learn Shadow Ball, which makes it a really useful Pokemon in a lot of different situations. And speaking of Shadow Ball and the moves, by the way, from June 16th to June 23rd, Mewtwo will have Shadow Ball, which is one of its strongest attacks. And then from June 23rd until July 1st, Mewtwo will have Psy Strike, which is also one of its strongest attacks. Not to mention Mewtwo is currently ranked 8th and 14th in Master League and Go Battle League. But none of that is even the biggest or bestest reason as to why Mewtwo is the god of the game. We'll cover that. First though, today's sponsor. Sleep is one of the most important factors in a mentally and physically healthy life. And I've learned over the years, if I wanna be the most productive and best version of myself, I gotta sleep. Which is why the idea of investing in your sleep makes a lot of sense. Welcome to today's sponsor, Bolin Branch. Let me ask you a question. Why invest in something that doesn't last? I bought so much Ethereum last year. Fortunately, Bolin Branch's heirloom quality bedding is specifically designed to last a lifetime and even get better with every wash. And I'm the kind of guy that buys new socks once every six years, so the idea of not having to buy new bedding for a while sounds great. They got a five-star rating for a reason, baby quality and longevity. Speaking of longevity, the styles they offer are stylistically timeless, which means you can mix and match styles throughout the whole year and still have a TikTok worthy bet. Another great thing about Bull and Branch is their products are organically made with 100% organic cotton, which requires 90% less water to grow. So you can feel good about having their products in your house. And if you wanna feel even better, you can use the link in the description for 20% off your order, 20%. See the site for details, link in the description. Big thank you to Bull and Branch for leveling up the sleep game. Mewtwo, like Charizard, will eventually have two different mega forms and they'll literally break the game. Like we might not see them in Pokemon Go for that long because they're gonna be so OP. How OP? Starting off with Mega Mewtwo Y. It's gonna have a max CP of 6,343 and it will literally be the god of Pokemon Go. Like if you have a good IV Mewtwo with counter and Psy Strike on it, which you can get, in Pokemon Go, like in the next two weeks, and then you eventually Mega Evolve it when its Mega Evolution comes out, that Mega Mewtwo Y will have the highest DPS, it will be the strongest attacker, the most damage dealing monster in Pokemon Go until the end of time. Mega Mewtwo Y will rule the meta of Pokemon Go forever. So naturally, having a good IV Mewtwo, powering it up with Mewtwo XL candies, will be a really good play going into the future when we do hopefully eventually see Mega Mewtwo Y added to the game. And even if you're a free to play player, it's really worth going out and finding a Mewtwo raid with your free raid pass every day, if you can, obviously, and getting that extra raid and candy in because it's really useful. And then it has another Mega Evolution, Mega Mewtwo X, which is like the little brother of Mega Mewtwo Y. It's gonna have 6,138 max CP, and it still will be one of the biggest and best Pokemon in the game and one of the strongest Pokemon in the game, except if you're gonna Mega Evolve, why, why pick X over Y, you know? Y is just better. Y looks cooler too, X looks kind of clunky and weird, whatever. And since I'm all in on Mewtwo and literally addicted to remote raid passes, I'm gonna be streaming me raiding Mewtwo over the next like week on Twitch. So the link to that is in the description if you wanna pop by and watch the streams because a lot of the shinies that we catch in the streams probably won't make it to YouTube. So if you wanna watch that go down, only on Twitch. Okay, but Mewtwo isn't even the most exciting thing to get ready for right now in Pokemon Go. The Pokemon TCG crossover event begins today and lasts until Thursday, June 30th, and it's a banger update. Very rarely, very rarely, trust me, in Pokemon Go do we get back-to-back -back 
banger updates. We just had Adventure Week. It was one of the best updates of the year. And this week, the TCG event is gonna be another fantastic event. Now, why is it such a banger? And what should you do to capitalize on it? Okay, for one, the spawns are incredible. The wild counters include Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, Wartortle, Alolan Ratatata, Pikachu with the TCG hat, which can be shiny, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Eevee, Spinarak, Natu, Apom, Numel, Bidoof, Piddov, brand new Pokemon Wimpod, and if you're lucky, Onyx, Chansey, Snorlax, Dragonite, and Slacking. That is a lot of Pokemon in the wild, and a lot of them are meta-relevant and really good to catch for candy and XL candy. And those Pokemon include uh, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Charmander, Charmeleon, Squirtle, Wartortle, Magikarp, Eevee, Onyx, and Dragonite. Mainly because a lot of those Pokemon have mega evolutions that are the top in their typing in the game, but also Pokemon like Eevee that can evolve into a lot of useful Pokemon, and Dragonite, which is just always a great dragon type, they're great to catch. Not to mention Shiny, Solrock, and Lunatone will be spawning worldwide throughout this event, which very rarely happens in Pokemon Go. And again, I know we just came out of Adventure Week, which had really, really good spawns to grind, but if you're not feeling too burnt out, this is another good week to get out and grind. During this event, I'm gonna be in New York and Phoenix, so I will be out and about playing as hard as possible. Great videos coming up next week, by the way. And that's not only the banger thing that's spawning as a part of this event. Shiny Meltan is back. Shiny Meltan comes back once a year, if that. And it's usually only around for like a week. And the only way to get Meltan to spawn, let me show you. Okay, so you get Meltan through your mystery box. You go into your items and you see, oh look, mysterious old box. Opening it, opening it causes a certain Pokemon to appear for a limited time. You basically just click that and then the box opens. I'm not gonna click that because I don't wanna accidentally open the box because the event starts tomorrow for me. <laughs> but if you click on, maybe I click it. Okay, days remaining. Oh, zero, nice. You can activate the mystery box by sending, here we go, it's it's cut off. But basically you can activate the mystery box by sending a Pokemon from Pokemon Go to either Pokemon Home or Pokemon Let's Go. And doing that's really easy actually. You just go in your settings and then you scroll down to where the heck is it? Okay, the bottom here, Pokemon Home. You click that and then you basically connect your Pokemon Home account to your Pokemon Go account. Um, and then you just click send Pokemon. Continue, and we're gonna send a, let's send a Groudon. We're gonna send a Groudon, let's send a bunch actually, should we? And a Kranidos, some random Pokemon, and we're gonna transport them over to Pokemon Home. It will send the Pokemon over there. You do have to open Pokemon Home to complete the process of transferring the Pokemon over there. Like this won't work unless you open up Pokemon Home and then basically accept the Pokemon through Pokemon Home. But that's how you do it. It's really easy. I'm not gonna finish the process because again, I don't want to do that today. And you should be able to get one Meltan or Mystery Box once every three days during this event, which means you should be able to open up maybe around five boxes throughout the entire event. And the shiny odds apparently for Meltan are around one in 125, which sounds a little daunting. It's way better than normal shiny odds. And it does give you honestly a really good chance to catch this shiny during the event. And I think the incense, the Meltan incense that you get is boosted spawns if you're sitting still, I think. Don't quote me. Some of the comments correct me. Help me in the comments, but I think. Also not to mention every single time you catch a Meltan, you get a Meltan XL candy, guaranteed. So if you're working towards level 50 and you need more level 50 Pokemon in Pokemon Go, this is like a really easy one. Now, I know most of us don't really do them anymore, but another very exciting part of this event is the Mega Raids, which include Mega Venusaur, Mega Charizard X, Mega Charizard Y, and Blastoise. These are just great Megas to have Mega Energy for, so if you don't have that much Mega Energy for one of these, um, it's a good time to stack up on it if you want and if you have people to raid with. And finally, one of the best parts of this upcoming event, the Field Research. Pokemon in the Field Research include Ivysaur, Charmeleon, Wartortle, Pikachu with the TCG hat, Wimpod, and, if you're lucky, Venusaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Snorlax, Dragonite, and Slacking. But yes, this means that you can get a shiny Venusaur, a shiny Charizard, a shiny Blastoise, and or a shiny Snorlax for free out of the Field Research, which is Really, really good. And breaking news, not to mention, by the way, Spinarak, Numel, and Bidoof, which will be spawning in the wild, can all be ditto, which means you could maybe get a little shiny ditto action in during this event, which is gonna be really, really cool. Oh, and we do have the field research. Here you go. Oh, and they're so easy. I love this. The field research task, catch 25 Pokemon, that's it, will give you either a Charizard, Venusaur, or Blastoise. That means that is a re it's not an egg field research. It's not a raid field research. It's simply catch 25 Pokemon, and you can get yourself a Venusaur, Charizard, or Blastoise encounter, and they can be shiny. 40 Pokemon, which is a little bit more difficult, but still easy, will give you a Snorlax or a Slacking encounter. Snorlax, by the way, is typically a shiny locked behind raids, 
And honestly, a really good shiny at that. I've got one that I gotta go fast. Trade a Pokemon gives you the Pikachu with a TCG hat that can be shiny. Spin five Pokestops or Gyms will give you a Wimpod, brand new Pokemon. Catch 10 Pokemon gives you berries. Catch 15 Pokemon gives you either an Ivysaur, Charmeleon, or Wartortle. And we don't exactly know yet what gives Dragonite. So keep an eye out for that. Oh, and then the raids for this event. Tier one will be Chansey, Larvitar, Timber, Wimpod. Timber's Evolution, Conkleder, very meta relevant as a fight, fighting type attacker. And then Larvitar, obviously, Tyranitar, one of the best Pokemon in the game. Good raids to do if you wanna do level one. Three star raids will have Alolan Executor, Snorlax, there you go, Dragonite and Slacking. Five star will be Mewtwo and the Megas will be the starters. And that's what's happening in the next couple of days and weeks here in Pokemon Go, some exciting times. Hope you're ready. And if you are, leave a like and stay tuned for more videos. Two more on screen, by the way. Check this out. See you later.